Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play on the Play Minecraft server with me, the Jaguar. So let's go play some DVZ, shall we? Why not? Um, I'm playing on the EU server, for those who don't know. And have just managed to join the game. So I think I'll, I'll pause the video here and I'll get back to you when the game actually starts. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. And we're back. And DVC has changed a lot since I last recorded an episode. And hang on, missing an important part. There we go. Don't know if you can hear that. But it's music time for when, you know, I'm not talking. Okay, frame rate seems good. I was having a few issues a while ago. Missing like 20 frames a second. Hopefully that's gone now. My output says I'm getting 50, so I'll believe it. Uh, but yeah, I haven't, I've, I haven't recorded any DVZ in a while, and a lot of things have changed. Um, most notably, the three different shrines instead of uh, just the one. And you've got the sword and shield. The shield is very useful for getting up and close to skeletons. Come on, there we go. And especially useful for not getting knocked about by zombies. Those guys all... They'll make you regret everything about your life. If you let them. But I don't intend on letting them. Okay, let's sit in the corner here and make some arrows. You know, I'm not entirely sure I believe the 60 frames per second I'm getting. Seems a bit laggy to me. Could just be the server though. The EU server is hardly the strongest server in terms of connection. Although I have noticed that it's a, a lot more um, experienced in terms of its members. Very rarely is there a time when you uh, sort of have a terrible game because people don't know how to play. Let's help this guy with armor, shall we? some armor back, shall we? Yeah, let's heal up. Let's do a couple more of these. I can just hold it. I, I'm always used to clicking it. Do you have another one? No, okay. I will go and get the rest of my stuff then. I usually don't get armor. I'm more of a builder and a woodcutter. You know, it's actually relaxing not being able to, not having to talk. I am able to talk, but I've got the music here, so a little bit more at peace. Until the epic music comes, then I'll be ready to defend. A few people in my quarry today. Oh, this is kind of epic. It joys me epic, this song. Oh, that bit of lag I heard there. Server's lag, that is. My frame rate's doing okay. For what it is. Or for what I'm using to record it with. Time. Almost midday. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get. I usually have about five stacks of coal, which I have now. So I'm gonna leave and go get some wood. And make some torches and water. Also, feel free to 
just watch the chat. It's probably far more interesting than my commentary. Okay. Move that off my bar as well. So, I've improved a lot at this game since our last video. Um, I was always like fairly competent because I'd watched all of Wobs and Goods and Bats videos. But now that I've experienced it, I'm definitely a lot faster and a lot better at PvP. Because, I mean, this was really my first... Well, both that first video was probably my first Minecraft PvP, like, serious PvP. I played, like, a couple Hunger Games, um, and I hadn't even really played, but I hadn't even really played much Minecraft at all until playing Minecraft. So, that's why I really decided to put this on my channel. I mean, usually I won't do Minecraft. I mean, sure, I did like half that CTM, well, not even half. I did like 10 episodes of that CTM map with Cupcot, but we didn't have the time to finish it and he wanted to move on to other things, so yeah, that kind of just ended. And in general, Minecraft's not too popular on my channel, which is, you know, is fair enough because I'm mainly a strategy gamer. But I thought this is quite different and I really do enjoy this, I can just record it, like, quickly. So, that's just a brief summary of why this is even on my channel in the first place. Uh, some time now, with the... Uh, still got a while though. Also, I've got slightly too many torches. That's okay, I can... I mean, sticks, four torches. I haven't got the torches yet. I can file them down in here. I like to have just enough for a stack, um, mainly because they slow down the rate at which you can make torches, so I don't really want to be there forever. Now if my math serves me well, that'll give me enough for a stack exactly. Okay, so yeah, this is how slow it is now. If you go back on my previous videos, you can see how fast it used to be. Um, let's see how I do that, let's get a spread of torches everywhere. While I'm doing this, I'm going to take a drink. Okay, now I haven't actually done a proper audio test. Um, I've done a semi-decent audio test like I was trying before, but then I had to restart my computer because the frame rate wasn't too good. But I got tired of testing the audio, so I'm just going to stick with whatever this is, at least for now. Knows I might watch it afterwards and find out that you can't even hear me because my mic's muted or something stupid like that. But hey, I haven't got content in my channel for a while, so this is the best you're gonna get. No, no, get the shovel. No, I put arrows on the bar. Now you might be wondering why I put arrows on the bar. Um, that's just so that I know how much ammo I have at a glance. I find it's really annoying when you can't see how much ammo you have exactly. And now for the rest of the day I'm going to make arrows. I think this is actually the fastest I've got set up. At least one of the fastest. So it's a good sign. <laughs> then watch me get plagued. Which also, if you haven't been keeping track, has also been changed quite a bit. There are three different types of plague. The Death Plague, which are basically an Enderman that just teleports around and snaps people's necks. And then you have the Rage Plague, which everyone gets really angry and they start attacking each other. And that's probably my least favourite, to be honest. Um, and probably the, in a way, most balanced is the Zolt Infection Plague. Um, random people get selected to be infected and then they go around and start uh, whoever they like, touch gets also gets infected until a certain amount of people have been infected uh, you'll see what I mean also I'm probably gonna take most of this to be uh, most of this video if you don't know that much about DVZ I'm sorry you'll just have to sort of learn by watching because there's too much to explain in, as you're doing it like, I mean, I've barely had enough time to describe all the changes, let alone what this mortar is and how you get torches and whatnot. 
more, so this wall needs to be a lot bigger. Also do the outer edge first so they don't have a ledge to jump up on. Why am I even gluing this? I should have done the other side before gluing it. Oh well. This inner wall, actually this part of the wall is probably the most crucial. Or at least one of the most crucial. Also, I want to be able to keep an eye out, like when it gets night, because I want to be able to see people who might be zombies, who might be played, approaching. Just because, you know, I don't want to get played myself. And it would be nice to be able to keep an eye out for these guys. Again, sorry if my commentary just abruptly stops, that's because I'm concentrating. I don't do that much in my strategy games, but here you actually need to think. It's a shame I had to light that up, because torches aren't easy to come by anymore. Oh, Benderman, run, run away. Run away from the first shrine. That's what you need to do. Run away from the first shrine and other people. Oh, second shrine. God damn it. <laughs> well. I guess you're going to see this from the monster's perspective. So, as a monster, I like to go skeleton. Mostly because I feel I can do the most good this way. Round, render, please render. There we go. It's an army. Somebody's got. Oh, crap. Dang it. Yeah, one thing about this map is it's not very good for cover with skeletons. Dorkak is wonderful, as well as Oasis. That's not too bad. But this, there's practically no cover. You have to dig your own. Oh, come on, render. The most difficult part about being archer is finding the balance between range and speed. And in fact, just hitting it, that's also a big problem. I can never tell if I'm aiming too high or too low. I'm in a 720p window. Because you, know, you guys like your widescreen. So I can barely see. Oh. Get away from me. Oh, yep. Again, I don't know if this was a change in. or where this was a change. But. Oh, Jesus. Mm. So many arrows. People really want me dead. Oh, that's close. Oh, that's close. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Oh, where are you? Come fight me now. Okay, I'm gonna get back to my hole. My little trench. I find it's fairly useful just to have a, like, a hole to fall back into. Like that, just to take cover and to reload and whatnot. Hence, it's here. Oh, that's close. Oh, God damn it, I can't get the angle right on these guys. Because I can't see where my arrows are landing. fun for you because you can full screen it, but I'm in a 1600 by 1200 resolution desktop with a window of 720p. That makes 
makes it really hard to... Oh, crap. Ugh, Iron Golem. I'm terrible at Iron Golem. Regen. To be honest, I don't even know why I sent that to the global chat. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Hopefully, they're more than me. No guarantees. Ah. Oh. Time to be skeleton. Although they are kind of spawn camping. Ah, oh, well, no. They're gone. It's like they just did that for me. Okay. You know, it can be easy to guess what, whether they're behind the wall or in front of it. Sometimes not. Who oh, shoot? Me. Didn't quite hear that. I got a ping. I found the ammo. I could be so found it. Repeat, I found it. Ever since I went in my hole, I've lost the angle. Oh, wow, I'm close. That guy. Really wants me dead. Good enough, you can stand behind that lava and shit. You can stand behind that lava and you can set your arrows on fire. Which sounds kinda cool. But it's really difficult to aim. Oh crap, terrible place, terrible place. I hate my place. Oh, they can get me. I'm terrible at hitting torches. Crap. My aim. It's terrible. I usually rely on the close enough principle. I don't actually want to be zombie again. I want to be a skeleton. Oh well. Disorientating. Also, these matches tend to last a lot longer than you used to. Oh crap! So many people. I oh, one hit kill. No, seventeen, seventeen. Am I digging here? This is a terrible place to dig. Music oddly fits. <laughs> Tommy, take this guy. Oh, he shot me. Well, now it's dawn. It's time to go. Skeleton. Oh, 
Hmm. You know, there's a lot of them. They're fairly close to my location. Oh, oh crap, that guy. He knows about me. Crap. Hmm. Well, if they're gonna spawn camp us... <laughs> Maybe I don't want to leave spawn. Echo. Do jeep. Well, let's get spawn coming kind of jeep. Yeah, they're everywhere. Next time I'm spawn cutting them. So I might have to turn up my render distance for that. Which may or may not be possible. So I don't know if I finished that fort earlier, but these games tend to be a lot longer, so I expect like a half an hour video. Half hour to three quarters of an hour. Okay. Fortunately players render before dis uh land. So I can sort of plink them. On that white outline. Get away from Spawn area. I'm gonna leave the spawn and I'll jump down. That's for you. I don't know why I'm compensating for distance on this guy. He's directly below me. Okay. Oh, crap, they're already on the side. I'll remember that next time I spawn. I don't mind a certain amount of them being outside, but when they're right below us, we can't even spawn without dying. Ha, <laughs> still got him. Hmm, this could be problematic. Solar Eclipse, because you know, those happen now. Almost. Seeing as he was so close. Oh crap, they're everywhere! They're like some kind of plague! Counting the first shot. I don't know if you're a wolf, you should probably just stay alive until night time. Because then you can abuse the system. It's cheap, but if we get desperate. Those guys know about me. Got one of them. Got the other. Oh, that guy. Alright guys, round two. He's behind the wall, isn't he? No, he's in front of it. I just missed him. Oh, he's going for me. Run like a bitch. Come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Switched your boat at the wrong time, motherfucker. It's a little eclipse. Murder them. Murder them all. Don't know why I went Irish there, but I did. 
that I did. Synchronized bow firing. of some of these people and their bravery. Also, if I jump bec when I shoot, it's because I've got the same placebo effect Rob did. I feel like whenever I jump, get a better shot. I mean, some people have proved there's a difference, but it's only like one block. Last five, I'm off. Oh, these guys really know about me. There are people up there who wish to shoot me. Yeah. It takes a while to find the right elevation. But when you do, it can be glorious. Because if we can hit both people off there... Oh, crap. Who knows about me? You do! It's probably going half an hour. The file's like two and a half, no, oh, even close to three gigs. That Minecraft. It's files. They don't compress well. I'd have to artificially increase that. Also, thanks to a dwarf who built us a wall. in the chat for the wrath of the, the wolves. Yeah, as if uh, the buff still applies like four seconds into the light, if that makes any sense. Also, I'm a spiderling. I hate spiders. They're terrible at the moment. Like, when, when you, have to stand, you have to stand still to fire your Balls. If you ready to describe them, it's terrible. And you can still get one shot, I believe. I believe he was taking this, uh, Rob said he was taking the spider king out, but I'm not sure if he's also taking out the spiderling. I kind of think it should because there's very little spider link can actually do really. at the moment to plink those guys. Not that I'm doing it. Oh, come on. You can see over in that corner. Oh, don't worry, you're not. The video isn't out of sync. I just said that a bit late. But in the corner, you can see that guy died to zombies rather quickly. They're extremely powerful in the dark. people extremely quickly. Let's start taking out these torches. Don't want a dwarf to get behind us and start getting the best of us. That's a dangerous spot to be sitting in. Bain mm. Take out that toy 
Which I don't really need to take out the other torches because I don't think they'll be used. We just need to take this shrine. We can take the shrine before nightfall. Before dawn, rather. There we go. You'll notice how quickly we had to fall back. So, yeah, it's changed a lot. It's a lot harder to hold that courtyard now. Oh! Crap! Don't play my doorbell. Come here, guy. Die. Die, I say. Where did I go? I lagged out. Oh! Sparkles! <laughs> Somewhere useful as long as you can feed on the rock. This guy, he's bleeding. He's a bleeding. Oh, spider. Oh, that's a victory, spider. You might be pathetic at the moment because he removed all your buffs. But, well, he died. Hence the proc. Probably should have noticed that. Come on, there we go. I wonder if you guys can even hear the music that well. I can barely hear it. I should turn it off for the next game. Probably won't be tonight, unfortunately. Dang, maybe it's another time. Die. You wanna get to your sh um, I won't get to your shrine either. Spiders! Begin puking! Actually, I don't really, really bother. It's past him, man. Get out of here. I don't like it in your holes. I might prefer it out here. Torch it out. No. No. Crap. Run like the wind. Successful. Successful running. And a mini stroke. So some will get those. Yeah, we can be really efficient at removing those when we want to be. Get away. Get away. That's it, Dickens, are Take out my lights and don't give them a block. That's all you need from a digging. Oh, crap. One of them didn't get the memo. Where'd that guy go? Oh, he died. Oh! Hmm. So, yeah, I think I'll end it here then. Uh, thanks for watching, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.